If you haven't seen part one, I suggest checking it out before watching this video. You can click the card on the right. This video is sponsored by Skin Baron. Skin Baron is a market site with prices lower than Steam's community market, so you can find some really cheap skins. It's easy to check out, they have lots of different skins, and all transactions are secured. Visit Skin Baron through the link in the video description below. Hey guys! Salut mes amis! Ok, hallo goodbye. Maxime here. This series is where I talk about things that all players should avoid doing. It can be bad habits, or just general stuff that most don't even think about. This video is aimed towards all skills, and is meant to help improve your game. Which means, if you are a very good player already, this is probably not for you. Anyway, here's part 2. Avoid buying utility that you won't use. A good example of this is when you push aggressively on CT side, like middle for example. If if you die, then you will just waste money that you could have saved. Avoid running next to a teammate who is clearly being silent. This should be 100% obvious, but it happens way too often. Maybe because most underestimate how far you can run before getting hurt from the enemy team. Well, it's kind of far away. You know how annoying it is when you're slowly working your way forward, and then a teammate runs up to you like an elephant, completely ruining your chances of doing whatever you had planned? Yeah, just don't be that guy. Avoid changing your sensitivity. By that, I mean, use one that is comfortable for the long run. That's how you get good. Some of the best aimers are where they are now because of this. If you keep changing it, you're just challenging yourself to memorize the new one each time, and that surely can't be good for your muscle memory. If you're not sure what to use, I recommend a sense where you can turn 180 degrees without lifting your mouse from one end of your mouse pad to the other. This will work well with most mouse pads. By the way, if you need one, you can get the Banana Gaming mouse pad, which includes free aimbots. <coughs> Hashtag salt. Changing your sensitivity shouldn't take a couple seconds. It should actually be a longer session that gives you time to really feel if this is the one you really want to use for a longer time. If you want to confirm that your sensitivity is good, however, join a deathmatch server with a map like Mirage or Inferno, where the duels are both short and long range. That way you can feel and notice if your shots are landing. Avoid standing too close to a corner when holding an angle. The player closest to the corner will be seen first. A good example is on Inferno B site. I can see this dude, but they won't see me, because the corner is here. This is geometry, and it applies to all maps. So if you've ever wondered how you got killed by someone you didn't even see, there's your answer. Last one for this video, avoid calling someone a cheater. Just report the player you think is cheating and don't even mention it. If someone is cheating and you expose them, then they will most likely try to hide it. This means that if they get sent to Overwatch or if admins need to review the demo, it will be much harder to judge. It also makes you look less dumb, not saying anything, if they aren't actually cheating. Plus, and this one is really important, focusing on someone who you're not even sure is cheating just makes it harder to focus on the game. I've played with many who are quick to judge and they start doing stupid things because of it. Like not buying properly, being stuck at spawn typing, pushing unnecessary, etc. Don't be that guy. I always assume that if I get wrecked by someone, then they're just doing something better than me. Unless they're blatant rage hackers, then I would obviously report them. I hope this was helpful. If you want to support me and my content, then make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.